This one's going to be on to do. It's a um, interest interface for a to do list manager. So let's bust out this program here. Um, they have some hotkeys up top here. Pretty simple. Quit and you have up and down. Uh, they have out and in here. So these are basically Vim hotkeys, or you can use your arrow keys instead of these here, right? Um, they have, what is that, mark as done, add, and modify, slash or edit here. And if you want to get more hotkeys, all you got to do is hit the, the question mark, and I'll show you more help on it. So let's do this here. So you have J and K to go up and down, or your arrow keys to go up and down. And uh, if you want to get in and out, you do uh, L and H. So L and H go in and out. Or you can use your, you know, left and right arrow. Simple as that. Right now, these um, lists here are collapsed. So if you want to uncollapse it, you hit C. Right, C. C. If you want to toggle up between them, just hit, you know, C. And I'll toggle uh, collapse or not. So that's pretty much it for that. If you want to add a new list, so you hit O here. Um, this one can add a new list or a new item. So right now I'm going to add a new list here, hitting O. We'll call this one Internet. And hit L here um, to go inside it. And we'll add the items under that. So we'll do Wikipedia or whatever it is you want to type in. We'll add another one hitting O, and we'll call this one YouTube. Add another one, duck, duck, go, and add a, one last one. We'll call this one Yahoo, right? Anyways, these are our lists inside it, and if you ever like completed a task or something like that, you can always hit M to mark it as done. So, for example, M here, and M. And you see we have four items, so that's why it says 50%, right? Uh, to undo it, just go to the ones that you want, and you hit M, and it'll undo, you know, uh, completed or not. Pretty much it for that. Uh, if you want to modify it or change it, let's say, for example, it's DuckDuckGo here. I hit A, and I want to modify it. Uh, either I can type in new stuff, or I can go delete it. And I'll say uh, short is just DDG only, right? And then you hit enter and it'll save it. Um, what else can you do? Well, they do have these. You can set priorities. You can set uh, dates and stuff like that. So let me give you an example of that here. Shift and question mark. Uh, this one will give you you know more hotkeys you can do. And you can go up and down here. Uh, to see other hotkeys that you can do, right? So I'm going to focus on these ones here. So they do have like long description of it, uh, priority, category, the date, and schedule date. So I'm giving you an example of that. Hit Q to get out of this. And in here, um, let's say this Wikipedia thing here. We'll set a, uh, what's that, priority? Hit F. And you can go up and down to set a priority. Let's say this one is four. Let's say, for example, uh, this YouTube. We'll set another priority here. We'll say this one is one, and you can see that it will change places because uh, one is higher than four, right? Uh, in terms of priority, that is. And what else can you do? Um, if you want to have a category, you can use a capital C, and we'll call this one like videos or something like that. And it's Wikipedia, capital C, we'll call this one info, and this DuckDuckGo, we'll call this one uh, search or something like that. So capital C is to set your, um, you know, categories, real simple. Um, next thing you want to do, what is that? Uh, oh yeah, deadline. If you want to say, okay, I want to do this uh, item by uh, a certain date or something like that, you can hit T. And right now uh, we're in the 13th of February, but you can change it to, let's say, I don't know, the 10th of uh, what was it April, right? So there you go. That's the date that we wanted to uh, end with that. And you can do it down here too. You hit T, and then um, I don't know what is this one. Let's say 25 of March, so on and so forth. And 
And if you want to do a schedule date, so that's the deadline, but if you want to schedule at a certain date, you want to do it, uh, you can do that by hitting capital S. And this one will tell you, okay, I want to do this by, uh, or you know, you want to pick out a date and do it. So let's say I want to do this in the, um, I don't know, the 20 of this month, right? And I'll say, you know, Wikipedia, and then they have the date here, so on and so forth. So you want to do this for the YouTube one here? We can do the same thing, capital S. And since we have up until April to do this, we'll do, um, uh, I don't know, say zero, we'll say the 5th of March, right? And I'll tell you that, and I'll give you a list here of, you know, the days before um, in order of when it will end, whatever that is that you set up for your schedule date. Um, so that's how you do that, really. And if you ever want to delete some stuff, real simple. For example, if I want to delete this Yahoo thing, this whole thing, I said DD, and I'll delete it uh, like that. If you want to delete like uh, you know all the stuff we just did here, so let's hit the question mark here, and let's go down a little bit. Like for example, we did uh, priority category. All you gotta do is add a D in front of it. So D F, D capital C, D T, D capital S, and this one would delete those uh, things that we did. So let's do that here, right? Uh, for example, let's delete the priority. So we do D F. It'll delete the priority there. If you want to uh, delete the categories, D capital C, and now it'll allow us to uh, delete this manually. So I can delete that sucker, hit enter. If I want to delete the deadline, I can do DT, delete that, or D uh, delete the uh, schedule time, D capital S, so on and so forth. If you want to do that, right? Not that hard for deleting. Uh, they do have this one called. Um, long description whatever you hit E and down here you can type in whatever it is you want uh, uh, Wikipedia to look up info I don't know hit enter no actually not enter I mean hit um, escape to save here right Hit escape here and that will save it so whenever you you know let's say you move around different lists or whatever and you go to that uh, item and it'll say, oh, here's more information on it. And you read it like that. Real simple. Uh, if you ever wanna search for something, let's say, what else we got in here? So for example, if we wanna search for something, hit slash, and we wanna search for Wikipedia. Uh, actually it has to be case sensitive, I think. Wiki, there you go. And then uh, you find Wikipedia, right? So that's that. Anything else you can do in here? No, that's pretty much it, really. If you want to use a um, end curse interface for your to-do list manager, this is pretty cool, and it should be in most repositories. It's just called to-do and search it. And once you're done, you just hit Q, and it'll you know exit out of that. Anywho, that's a to-do list manager from your terminal. That'll be it for this one.